Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be doing a collection update video. This is definitely the most requested video, you know, for however long. I don't know. The last time I did this was like four months ago. There are definitely knives that are still here from the last video, but there's a lot of new stuff. I want to do something fun today. I want to go through each individual knife, tell you what it is, how much it costs, whether or not it's actually something you can purchase. If it is something that you can purchase, I will be leaving links down in the description. These are affiliate links. When you use those links, it directly benefits my channel, so I would appreciate that. But if not, you can just sit back, relax, and be entertained by this. The truth is, is that you know a lot, a lot of this stuff is mine that I've purchased out of my own pocket, but the, the reason I have so many is because of people who watch the channel and they send stuff in. Normally, I send, you know, people send in nice review and I send them back. A lot of times, once they arrive, people just say, just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> that is infinitely nice, infinitely nice. And you know, a lot of you guys know, uh, and the people who send the knives and donate, they know that, uh, you know, sometimes I keep them and sometimes I do giveaways, things like that. What I'm going to do is pick each one up, talk about it. I'm going to tell you whether or not, you know, it's likely to stick around, how likely it is to stick around. And uh, please don't bombard me with, you know, questions about wanting to buy them. Um, the truth is, guys, is that my patrons get first dibs on the knives, uh, the knives that I sell. So if a knife goes up for sale, it goes to Patreon, which is actually down there. Patrons first, um, there are plenty of different types of tiers. If you'd like to check out my Patreon, support me, have uh, access to you know sales, stickers, other exclusive benefits, there are quite a few perks. You can check out my Patreon in the description. I would uh, greatly appreciate it. But that's what uh, that's what we're gonna do here today. Um, all right, I think we can just about get started. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, so first up, this is the off-grid Rhino. This one is sporting green G10 and stonewash D2 running on bearings. You can absolutely buy this knife right now. They're about 70 bucks. This is a wonderful knife. This one will probably end up either being sold or I'll be doing a giveaway. You know, and for, for you guys who don't know, when I do giveaways, everybody who watches the channel, whether you're a patron or not, doesn't matter if you're, if you're a channel member or not, when I do giveaways, most of the time, uh, they are accessible to everybody who is watching. So if you'd like to be a part of my giveaways, you should make sure and subscribe and, and turn your notifications on. Um, yeah, I'll be linking that one down below. Next up, uh, and by the way, that was actually sent to me by Off Grid Knives directly. Next up, we have uh, uh, almost a channel icon at this point. Um, this is the um, Benchmade Crooked River or Mini Crooked River that's been customized at the custom shop, which is fantastic. This was customized by my buddy uh, Shaker MT, uh, and he, he put the channel colors on there. Um, this is not going anywhere anytime soon. I love this knife. It's in my rotation. Um, the Mini Crooked River runs about $195, maybe $200. You can definitely pick that one up down in the description. I'll make sure and link it. Um, but uh, yeah, this custom one is pretty special to me. I don't think um, that's going to be something that I'm, I'm going to readily give up. Next up here, we have the Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon. Um, this is not something that you can buy right now. I imagine at some point some new ones will be available. I have pre-ordered the new one and pre-orders for the new ones are um, definitely not available. When these were brand new, they were about 350 bucks. Um, I wish that this was available for everybody to purchase. Um, this is a recent uh, acquisition. One of my um, uh, patrons actually said, hey, um, I have this up for trade. Would you like to trade? And um, I ended up doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I love this knife. This is my this has not left my pocket since it arrived, and it is absolutely wonderful. I um, this is um, this is a pretty big deal right here. I like that one a lot. Next up, we have the Lion Steel TRE. I'm gonna do the reverse flick. The Lion Steel TRE Titanium. You can definitely buy this knife right now. This was a gift from my wife. It will never ever ever leave the channel. M390 and titanium, uh, nice little EDC size. I definitely do use this knife. It doesn't get used as much as some of the other knives on the table. I want to say these are, are they 250 to 300, something like that? I'll link this and the G10 version of it down below, if I remember. Um, next up here, the Spyderco Shaman. Yes, you can absolutely buy this knife right now. It's a lot more expensive than it was when I picked it up. 
I need to polish those washers or I need to uh, untighten the pivot maybe a little bit. When I bought this knife, it was about 180. I think they're about 200 now. This is still an excellent knife. Um, it's unlikely that this thing will be leaving my channel anytime soon. I, I love this knife. I carry it periodically. Not as much as I used to, but I definitely, definitely love this knife. Probably not going to leave anytime soon. Next up, the Microtech Socom Elite, another gift from my wife. This will absolutely never leave my channel. Absolutely not. This is manual, drop point blade. Uh, I've been carrying this thing a lot more lately. You can buy the automatic version of this right, knife right now, and I think in some places, I'll leave links to this down below. Even if it's sold out, I'll leave links, you know, just for people who are watching in the future. Maybe it becomes available in the future, I don't know. I'll leave links, I think, where you can buy the automatic versions, and then other links where you can go look at the manual version if you want to. Another gift from my wife. This was a Christmas gift. Uh, the Microtech Combat Troodon Hellhound. Uh, the, uh, the Signature Series, which is what this is, these run about $600. The standard version of the Microtech Combat Troodon runs about $485. You can definitely buy this knife in so many, so many configurations right now. If you like big, beefy, powerful double action OTFs, yeah, I recommend this to you. You can pick this one up down below. Um, love this knife. This is a very recent acquisition, one of, a personal uh, purchase, actually. This is the Microtech Direct Delta. These come in at about $350, and you can actually buy these right now, um, both in this large form and in the uh, smaller, uh, just the, the Direct, right? I'll be linking those down below. I love this thing. I got a thing about symmetry. This is high-end materials, just absolutely perfect. Grinds right out to the tip. It's a big deal to me. I, I just there's there's so much satisfaction here, and I love the face switch. I love the power of this thing. People ask me, does mine twang? No, mine does not twang. I don't know. Apparently, uh, so a couple of people said that there's twang. I think every now and then with OTFs that happens, but mine doesn't. This is the um, and by the way, that's not likely to be sold anytime soon. Um, this is the uh, Protex Strider SNG in titanium. This one is actually number. Two of 40. This is a very generous gift from my uh, good friend, uh, Jeff Goodnow. Um, this is uh, wonderful. These originally came in at close to $500 in titanium. You can definitely get the aluminum versions of this knife, and I absolutely recommend it. In fact, they're probably going to be a, a little bit easier to carry than the titanium ones, because this thing comes in super heavy at like six, six and a half ounces. The aluminum ones aren't nearly as bad. I can recommend those. The aluminum ones come in at like 200 i'll link those down below you guys can pick those up uh this is actually not mine but it's in it's in the house that i own <laughs> this is my wife's knife i bought it for her this is the kershaw blur and s30v obviously not going anywhere you can definitely buy this knife i think they come in at about 75 bucks 80 bucks def it's still one of the most recommendable knives in, in its price range and it has been for a very very long time Moving on here, the Civivi Praxis. This was another gift from a viewer, and it's one of my go-to knives when I go outside and just do yard work. He's coming at 40 bucks. You can, uh, they're 9CR 18 MOV and uh, G10 um, with some colored liners. Extremely recommendable. You can definitely pick this knife up. I'll link it down below. Probably not going anywhere anytime soon. It's not, um, it's not something that I'm gonna gain any major benefit in selling, and I use it a lot. Um, the CJRB Rhea, perhaps one of the greatest budget knives that exists right now if you like really small stuff. Definitely one of the greatest budget knives to come out in 2020. Yeah, you can buy, I believe you can buy this knife right now. If not, I'm sure they'll come back in stock soon. I'll link this down below. Um, this is using, does it say? Yeah, 12C27N, which is great. I think these come in at like $35. Yeah. <laughs> This is like, a, this is a great knife to give as a gift to somebody who's not really a knife person or somebody who is a knife person, whatever. It's a great knife, carries easy. Um, this was actually sent by uh, CJRB directly. Uh, wonderful, wonderful knife. Um, this is the um, uh, Spider Cocanus. And um, I was not expecting this, but I had a viewer say, hey, I just want to donate to the, this to the channel. I was like, what? And another person actually sent one in for review and it all happened kind of at the same time and I wasn't expecting this, but wow, super, super generous. Um, this person knows, you know, kind of, you know, what the deal is. I think, you know, they, they ended up saying, let's kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but it might make for a pretty interesting giveaway. Um, I don't know. There's there's quite a few options here. The Canis is a good knife, uh, absolutely, and the smoothness of the compression lock on this thing, them using that bushing pivot, 
Uh, and it's weird, but I mean, it's ergonomic and it's functional. I mean, you know, just because it's self-defense oriented doesn't mean that you can't carry this type of knife for EDC because it'll work really well for EDC. And I love the compression lock in this guy. I want to say these come in at 190 to 200. You can definitely buy this right now. I'll put it down in the description. Um, this is the uh, Asher uh, Century. S35VN coming in at about 70 to $80. I don't know anything about the heat treat on this guy. I'm hoping that it's good. Um, that's my only reservation with it. You can buy this. I don't have an affiliate link for this guy. I think you can pick them up on their website. It's very similar in profile to the Benchmade Bugout. The blade is what makes it different. And because the patent ended on the axis lock, they are free to use it. It also has quite a bit of a different pocket clip. This has steel liners uh, sitting underneath G10 and not a cartridge liner like the bug out. And then it has a steel backspacer and it's actually got a filler tab on the front. So really the only similarities, the reason that I was okay with reviewing it is because the only thing that's similar to the bug out is the shape or profile of the handle. Pretty cool. Other than whether or not they actually are doing the heat treat correctly, I was on board for that one. One from Astronaut, and by the way, that was sent in by a viewer uh, that was donated to the channel by a viewer. The Asher Silva I liked much more um, than the uh, the Century. This is one hundred dollars titanium and S thirty five VN. Again, you can buy this right now, just not through my links. You just have to go to their website, which is easy to find. Um, but uh, yeah, this is nice, nice bearing action. Right, just takes a little bit of a uh, you know some encouragement, I guess. Flipper tab's a little bit obtrusive, but for the most part, this is a good EDC knife. Nice and lightweight. If you like full titanium, right, good bearing action. This is good. For 100 bucks. yeah, as long as they're... I don't know about the heat treat, but if they're doing that correctly, then great. I don't know much about this Balasong, but I had mentioned one time in a, um, a video that I just don't know enough about Balasongs, and maybe it would be fun to kind of play with one. This is a Bolker Balasong trainer. I'm sure that you can buy this right now. It seems to be fairly well built, and nothing is you know clicking or clacking and this has been fun to play with sometimes i'll sit around on the couch and <laughs> just uh, i don't know how these work i'm not good at that right but it has been fun to play with and it's nice because i'm not cutting myself right so i'll link this guy if you want to pick it up uh that was also donated by a viewer uh and then this one is actually a battle song that's sharp um this one seems to be a little bit more Clicky, clack, not quite the same fit and finish as the Boker. Uh, this is a Baron Sun, I think. Uh, is that what it said? Oh, it's upside down. A Baron Sun. So, yeah, you can buy this one. I, I don't know much about it yet. I haven't gotten around to reviewing it yet. I'm still, I need to be a little bit more confident talking about battle songs before I do something like that. But um, the, uh, and, and by the way, I didn't, I didn't talk about this, but uh, these two are likely to be, uh, to end up as giveaway knives. Um, and then also the CJRB RIA has already been traded uh, for the exact same thing except in Micarta. I didn't talk about that. Um, this guy likely will end up again as a giveaway knife at some point um, or something. It'll probably be something that I do with Patreon. I, I don't know. Um, and I know that some people are like, why don't you? What do I, I have so many knives coming in, so many generous people that there's enough to go around for both crowds, for Patreon and for YouTube. Everybody will be able to get involved with um, the stuff that I do. Uh, here on YouTube, I promise I'll make it. I'll make it nice and fair. But for the people who directly support me on Patreon, I want them to have some unique perks. That's just kind of how that works, right? Um, next up, we have the uh, Openel number eight. I tried to give this to Ricky, and he was like, "Nah." <laughs> so it's just kind of hung around as like this thing that I reference periodically. That it's it's obviously a good knife. I just don't like it. It's not worth anything. So honestly, it, ironically, it will probably hang around. Yeah, you can buy this knife. I'll link it down below. It is ridiculously inexpensive. I want to say they're like $14 or something like that. Next up. And how did I acquire that? I bought that knife. Yeah, I paid money for that. Um, this is the Alien Knives DX2 prototype. Very, very impressive. I don't know why I wasn't expecting this thing to be super impressive. Um, it is big, it is wide, it is tall, and the flipper tab is definitely huge. So far, my one critique, I haven't played with this a whole lot. My one critique is that the flipper tab is probably too big, but it's very easy to manipulate. Um, this is cool. You can check this out at uh, the uh, Alien Knives uh, website uh, or on Instagram. 
Um, but uh, yeah, this is actually pretty impressive. It is S35VN, G10, and titanium. Nothing super unique in the style. I mean, like the uh, you know the lock or anything like that. But it's it's nice that the blade is so tall and wide. I mean, honestly, it's almost drop shut. It's really, really smooth. I, I like that a lot. Very interesting. Ergonomics are fantastic on this guy. Um, this will likely end up not staying with me. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with it. Um, but and I know I know people are gonna ask. Please, can I buy that from you? Please, seriously. The people who get first dibs at buying the knives that I sell are my patrons. I'm very very firm about that. I guess I can't stop you from trying, but it's it, it's not not something that I'm gonna do. Uh, this is the Ontario Route One. This will likely never leave. I use it as a size comparison knife. You can definitely buy this knife right now. It's still an excellent choice for a budget knife. I think these run. Uh, 40 bucks, maybe a little bit less, $38, something like that. Yeah, it's size comparison knife, so it's always gonna be here. And it's one of my go-to knives. I think it's actually still dirty from the last time that I used it. Yeah, that has that little piece of debris has been in multiple reviews. Um, I'll just go ahead and get that off of there. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna stick around. Another gift from my wife, the Spyderco uh, Para 3 in Maximet. I will never, ever, ever get rid of this knife. It is my my single most carried knife that I've ever owned. I love this thing. I will not be getting rid of it. Uh, next up, the Spyderco PM2. Um, and and uh, this is one that I also purchased a long time ago. It doesn't even have a pocket clip because it doesn't get carried. It just sits down here. And that's because the pocket clip is on the Shaman now. It sits down here as a size comparison knife. And it's, it's kind of the knife that I go to uh, to open boxes like behind the scenes uh, when people send stuff in that's not needed to be unboxed uh, on, on the channel right or whatever this is what I use um, you can definitely still buy these they're about $150 it's a recommendable knife but it is a little bit higher price than I'd like it to be right now so I'll be linking this one down in the description not gonna go anywhere because it is a very valuable size comparison knife the uh, uh, Ritter Hogue RSK MK1 G2. Yes, you can buy this knife right now. I don't have an affiliate link, but it's a Knifeworks exclusive, meaning you can only get it at Knifeworks. They're about 160 bucks. Definitely recommendable. I bought this with my own money, uh, and it is a size comparison knife, so it's not going anywhere anytime soon. This was sent, uh, donated to the channel by Nick Shabazz, and was one of the knives in my quest of the ultimate unboxing, and the person who won it never claimed it. I will undoubtedly do another giveaway for this knife. <laughs> Uh, this is not something that I enjoy as a tool. It's just a funny thing, and it was uh, once, you know, it came from Nick, so it's just kind of, it's it's funny, you know. Um, don't buy stuff like this. I'm, honestly, I'm not even going to leave a link for it. I don't want to put this, <laughs> I don't want to put this into people's hands. It's not safe. Uh, this is the uh, Cold Steel Tough Light. I bought this myself and have very thoroughly used it. Very recommendable. Um, I will link it down in the description. This is an awesome little work utility knife and it's almost disposable at like 25 bucks. Super strong, super resilient. Not going anywhere because it's beat up. Um, this is the uh, Gerber Flatiron, also a knife that has really been beat up a lot. I gave this a negative review, but I gotta admit it has stood up to everything that I've thrown at it. Um, I don't like the steel on it. I know you can, this is the old 7CR version. I know you can get these in Micarta and D2 now, which is definitely the better choice. I will link those down in the description. This might not have been as bad a knife as I had originally suggested, but that was a very old review. This, I have no idea why I still have it. This is one of the old, this was one of the first knives that I reviewed on the channel. It just lays around and it's just like a, if it's near and it's, and I need a knife, then I will use it. This is the um, Ozark Trail Green Knife is literally the name of this. You can buy this at Walmart for five bucks. I, uh, I guess if I can find a link, I'll link that one. Uh, the Hinderers, all right. So this is what we refer to now because of that, light stream, that live stream as the Lightmare. Uh, and uh, that's a M-A-R-E, like the horse, right? Uh, this is my current, um, just the three and a half inch that I've just kind of, you know, enjoy just having. At some point, honestly, I will sell the knife, not the scale. The scale will never be for sale. Why? Because right now, um, the stonewashed titanium scales are scarce. Um, eventually they'll come back, right? Um, but the new ones all are gonna be milled. Mine is unmilled, it's an original scale. Nope, never, ever, ever, ever will I get rid of that scale. I'm sorry, I've had people ask, not interested in selling it. The knife though, 
eventually, I gotta admit, eventually there will be another hinderer and I usually just sell whatever hinderer XM18 three and a half inch I have to pay for that one, right? Um, that's the best way that works out. So yeah, at some point, one of my patrons will have a crack at that. And finally, the Dark Horse XM24. Now, probably not gonna get rid of this guy. I said that when I got it. Reason is, is because XM24 Spantos are rare enough. Ones in um, black stone wash are extremely rare. Uh, and uh, I, I built this one um, with the intention, intention of having it all blacked out or as much as I could. I know I can't change that stuff, but um, I'm waiting for a stone washed um, black DLC titanium scale. Uh, to come out and I'm hoping that that actually happens. I really want to make a full tie XM24 um, but uh, This knife by I mean, it, it's I, I don't know if they're ever gonna do a black stone washed XM24 Spanto ever again and um, I I just don't want to this one is so perfect it's absolutely flawless and I will keep it that way and I know there's people why would you have a knife if you weren't gonna use it because I'm, a, I'm an enthusiast. I use some knives and I don't use other knives, right? Seems to have worked out pretty well for me so far. <laughs> I think there's quite a few people who think the same way as me. Um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna keep this one. This is not something that I, I'm, I, I you know, am gonna sell in the foreseeable future. Who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe a couple of years, three years down the road, maybe I change my mind, I don't know. But as of right now, I mean, if all of a sudden tomorrow Hinderer comes out with like 5,000 of these and is like, we're going to make the stone washed, uh, the black stone washed uh, XM24 Spanto the most common Hinderer in existence, maybe then I would feel like it was less special or like I could, I could pick it up again down the road, right? But for right now, this knife is going to stay uh, with me. Guys, uh, and by the way, by the way, for those of you still here at the end, Yes, you can buy both XM24s and XM18 three and a half inch models right now. Not these exact variants, but there are plenty of interesting ones out there. I'll be linking these knives down below as well as hinderer parts and accessories. Uh, so you guys can pick that stuff up if you want to. All right, that was fun. Um, I'm glad I got an opportunity to talk about the knives that I uh, currently own. Um, but uh, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this. I hope you guys got some uh, entertainment out of it. Maybe you found something that you were interested in that you didn't know was actually available right now. And that would be great. Um, but uh, in any case, I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.